Science is fun. Science is fun. Science is fun. I'm talking to you. Ooh. Science is fun. I love science. Science is fun. Today, helping me are Andy and Patrick Kopp. Come on, guys. Yeah. Do you guys like science? I love mm -hmm. science. You like science? Mm -hmm. Today, we're going to be disproving Newton's three, three <laughs> Newton's laws, laws of, of motion. motion. Today, we're going to be disproving Newton's laws of motion. Do you mean Cam Newton? No, silly. <laughs> Science is fun! Newton's laws of motion are three physical laws that together laid the foundation for classical mechanics. They describe the relationship between a body and the forces acting upon it, and its motion in response to said forces. The only thing bigger than Newton's brain was his nose. Newtons are force is measured in Newtons. The first law of motion. Every object in a state of uniform motion tends to remain in that state of motion unless an external force is applied to it. Twitter. You found a ball? I found one. Alright. So we're gonna roll the ball. And our theory is it will never stop rolling, obviously. Never. Never. Why would it? I mean, exactly. I mean, there's no Why external would... force acting on it. Exactly. What? Well, that. Well, that. That box is there. I thought I was supposed to. I, it was not. This law is true. Alright. The relationship between an object's mass, M, its acceleration, A, and the applied force, F, is F equals MA. Acceleration and force are vectors, as indicated by their symbols being displayed in slant bold font. In this law, the direction of the force vector is the same as the direction of the acceleration vector. This law is basically saying that force is equal to mass times acceleration, and that it takes more force to move a heavier object. Alright, let's try it. Okay. You gonna hold that? Just hold that there for a little bit. I have this one already here. All right, all right. Now let's. What can we do with the weights? Science is fun! I presume that it will take the exact same amount of force to move these objects. What are you guys saying? I don't see why not. Yeah, it seems. Plausible. Now let's try yours. Okay, show me. Okay, there you go. Not hard. All right, now you do yours. If you, can you do? If, can you like ten? It is. Let's switch. For you guys level. switch. You need to keep that one because you need to get stronger for pole vault. <laughs> you try yours. Would you? Would you say it was exactly the same amount of force needed? Or it's less force, I think, for this. What? No, you. No, we said it. This law is true. For the third law, for every action, there is an equal and opposite reaction. I don't. I don't buy it. I don't buy it. Statistically, I'll buy it. All right, that's fine. Two things to roll at each other. Okay. Another ping pong ball. All right, one ping pong ball and another ping pong ball. They share the same mass. We'll collide it with the other one. And what do you think? What do you guys think will happen? I think that as soon as it hits, 
but they won't go, they won't do anything else. They won't do anything? Okay. Try it. Okay. No. No. Well, it's, this one can This law is true. It's, it's, <laughs> it's stupid. stupid. It's stupid. It's stupid. It's bullshit. <laughs> Science is fun. <laughs> Science is fun. We love Mr. Williams. Hypothesis. Science. Science is fun. <laughs>